What's up everybody? I'm your astrology guy and in this video we're gonna learn about Pisces. Ooh, whoa. In later videos we'll talk about Pisces and relationships and compatibility but for right now I want to focus on empowering Pisces to be the best version of themselves they can possibly be by amplifying your positive traits and diminishing your negative traits. Okay, Pisces. Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac. The dates of Pisces are February 19th to March 20th. Pisces takes place when the seasons are transitioning from winter to spring. Signs that occur during the transition from one season to the next are mutable signs. The mutable signs blend the process of initiating and finishing by communication and networking. Pisces is a water sign. Water signs perceive the world through their emotions and intuition. Pisces is the adult of the water signs. The adult signs are more likely to factor in the big picture and are less emotionally reactive. They also have a propensity for excess and they can be condescending. Side note, let's not get crazy. Pisces are very emotionally reactive. However, in comparison to the other two water signs, Cancer and Scorpio, it takes more to get Pisces to a place where they're over the edge and reacting in a way that's not from a big picture perspective. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I know, I know. Jewish life could be a sweet, sweet fantasy, baby. But somebody's got to pay the bills. So if life is with lemons, make some limonada and sell it because dreams don't pay the rent. Okay? The positive traits of Pisces. Compassionate, adaptable, accepting, devoted, and imaginative. The negative traits of Pisces. Overly sensitive, indecisive, self-pitying, lazy, and escapist. Pisces, you have a beautiful depth of emotion, of creativity, of empathy, of understanding, and of exploration of the mind. However, you can spend a little too much time in the place of the unknown, which will lend to you forgetting to bridge the gap between the unknown world, the fantasy world, and the practical material world. When you're putting energy into both of those worlds, you for sure will be successful because Pisces is the number one manifester because we know when we believe something, it's much easier to manifest. And Pisces are the masters at belief. They just need to make sure they're not spending too much time in that world of imagination and not enough time in the world of practical application. You wanna blend those two worlds together that's where your key to success is. When you're dealing with a Pisces and the Pisces goes dark, instead of following that Pisces down that path, when you care about the Pisces, you're like, oh, I understand. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened to you. Instead of following down that path, which will just amplify that feeling for them, you wanna take them in the other direction. You're gonna be okay. You're strong enough to do this. You have the capability to get yourself out of this. Get up, you son of a bitch. As Mickey loves you. You wanna let them know you have every right to feel the way that you feel, but let's focus on the solution. Let's focus on the capability that you have to overcome anything because Pisces are extremely capable. They just have to make sure they're not being weighed down by emotional heaviness. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, go to the solution, go to the optimism, go to the strength, as opposed to going to the sadness, the weakness, and the pity. So that's Pisces, extremely adaptable, extremely creative, and extremely accepting, which is a beautiful thing. But they also, because they're the oldest of their element, they can take things too far. So you wanna make sure if you are a Pisces, you don't allow yourself to follow that path. You catch it before it gets too far, and then you get yourself moving on that optimistic, powerful journey that you're so capable of. If you want more information about Pisces regarding compatibility and relationships, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more astrological information on its way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.